Hey, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead, and if I'm out of breath, it's because I'm having trouble tying my apron. <laughs> I need an easier apron. Reaching behind my back is killing me. Anyway, tonight I am making a recipe that I found on Mandy in the Makings YouTube channel called Texas Roadhouse Roadkill Copycat. So, uh, I never heard of the Texas Roadhouse Roadkill di dish, so... But it looked really good. So follow me along and I'm going to get to cooking this. All right, so I'm going to double the recipe. So I will put a link in the description box for the original recipe, but I'm doubling all the ingredients. So I have two pounds of ground beef in here. I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce. Seasoning salt. Seasoned salt, A1 sauce, one moment, all right, just put A1 sauce. I have never used A1 sauce, so I wasn't sure. If this expired on 722, but it was unopened. But I got it there. I got it. So I'm going to add two eggs. And some pepper. Let me find my black pepper. Oh, where's my black pepper? All right, how much black pepper? Half a teaspoon, so I'm going to double it. Now we're going to mix all that up, and then we're going to also preheat the oven to 400. I'll be right back. All right, so I shape them into, it says football size patty, like football oval patties. So I got four in here and two in here to do in a second batch. So we're gonna brown them on medium high heat and they will brown, they will quickly brown and then flip over and do the other side. All right, so I'm supposed to put these on a broiler but I don't, I can't find my broiler. I know I have one. I don't know if I threw it away or because I wasn't ever using it. But I do have another set to cook. I, I think I might have put too much, uh, too much A1. I might have lost count on my tablespoons because it just seems awfully, awfully mushy and easy to break apart so we'll see how this comes out guys i'm gonna do those two and then i'm gonna put them on here and we'll go to the next step all right so this did not come out the way it did in her video these all broke apart but i think it's because i had too much a1 sauce so they're going to go into a 400 degree oven for uh 12 minutes or until medium well. All right, so I cleaned my pan and I put some olive oil in it. And now when it's, it calls for onions and mushrooms, but we don't do mushrooms here. So I'm going to just do the onions. I did a little extra. So let's see here. We're just gonna saute these and get them cooked and brownish. So I'll bring you back when they're getting all lovely. Okay, so those have been in there. We're going to top them each with some onions. Just want to get them all topped with onions. 
This one is just all broken up everywhere, so we're just going to plop some onions on there. Then we're going to, I slice some Monterey Jack cheese. So we're going to lay the Monterey Jack cheese over them and put them back in the oven. So I will bring you back when these are all done um, with the onions and cheese. All right. I did the best I could. They have onions and Monterey Jack. They're going back in the oven for just a few minutes. And we'll bring you back when it's done. All right, so this is what it looks like. I have some frozen po mashed potatoes um, thawing out. I thought of it at the last minute, and some green beans on low. So I will bring you back when we plate it up. All right, we had a little mishap, so the green beans are gone. <laughs> I left the house with Sierra and forgot to shut them off, and it was a black... What was it, Chris? I came home. Everything was fine. I had to go outside to take care of something. And I come back in and I thought I walked into hell. That's how smoky it was. I left the green beans on. Yeah, and they were. Charred. Starting to pop. Yeah. So I ended up tossing those outside and putting the pan outside to let it cool down because it was hot. Yeah, so Lee almost burnt the house down. So I ended up sending her a text saying the green beans are fire. I know, and I wasn't, I was talking with someone, so I didn't see the text. And then he called, and I, I dismissed it because I was in the middle of a conversation. Nope. Then he called back, and I answered, and that's, yeah, so thank God we have house insurance. <laughs> so no green beans. But no, this is good. It's Texas roadkill. Texas Longhorn Roadkill. <laughs> and I had cooked it all, and it was really good, but then I had to shut it off to leave, so I had to put more cheese on top and warm mm -hmm. it back up. You can blame Sierra for that one. No, it's not her fault. I, and then I I almost killed us in the car a couple times because I don't drive. <laughs> I don't see at night. I, I mis, misjudged and thought... Driveways happy were... anniversary and happy Valentine's Day, hon. Yeah. And this is why Lee doesn't go out at night. On the way, I almost killed us. And on the way home, I almost killed us. Trying and I went the curb. wrong way. Thinking she's pulling onto a road and there's a driveway. It's a curb. I can't tell the difference between the grass and the driveways or cement at night. And I just told Lee, I'm the same way at night. When I come home, I got to... Judge my way of getting home by the lines in the road. Mm. How do you like it? It's good. Definitely a keeper. Mm. Maybe next time we'll have green beans. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>